Ooh, people you meet. Something I learned as a kid. Who talk too much. No matter how intelligent they may seem, are using the channel of verbal communication as a thinly disguised excuse to dominate other people. It's the tell all, the know it all. This is discreet because you can shut it off whenever you want. There's discretion that is given the courtesy that it deserves. You'll never get anything useful out of someone who talks too much. But like a con man, they may get a lot out of you. And they live off of it. And that's what I call... feeding off of the system. This is Newcastle Island, by the way. Say hello. I'm Rain. I make sacred spaces like other people make crazy faces. I see the slumped over mess of humanity every day. And the more I do, the more these places become dear to me. You almost are tempted to think that people are not worth their own freedom. And that's a part of being honest about how you might feel. I'm just going to leave you with that, actually. There are classic questions, of course. Why do people suffer? It's hard to justify romantic sentiments about nature when there's so much suffering. And I'm not about to reveal some grand secret about it at all. And I'm not about to, to disrespect it by using it as a talking point. We suffer. It's personal. It's always personal when you suffer. That in itself is a personal relationship. It doesn't matter who you are. It gets pretty fucking personal when you're suffering or someone you love is suffering. Let's leave that at that. Now, as a 43-year-old unemployed, unemployable man who has, has not had decent sex probably in his whole life, and when he did it was with crazy women, which is only good the first couple times before they go nuts, I thought I would start a channel talking about relationships, men and women. Give me someone who can think, listen, and talk. TLT. You can do that. You've got it made in the shade.